actually connects us with the first, the main topic of chapter 31. So I'm going to kind of introduce them simultaneously uh, so you can see the relationship. Chapter 30, uh, this is known as uh, uh, um, displacement current. And the formula here is uh, the I actually introduced it the I actually introduced it the first thing that we were talking about when we first uh, started chapter 30. I said, this is integral b dot dl mu zero i. This first part we've already dealt with. We've noticed that when there is a current, it creates a magnetic field that loops around it. This part is the new uh, element. You have mu zero e zero times change in electric flux. So what this is telling you is, besides current producing a magnetic field, if the electric flux Somehow, if the electric field is changing as a, as a function of time, if the electric field is changing as a function of time, then it creates magnetic field as well. Now, the, the problem with it is because you see this number is so small, look at the E0. What was the magnitude of E0? Eight point eight five times 10 to the minus 12. That's the electrical permeability of empty space, right? Since this is such a small number, and then what is this number, uh, mu zero? Well, mu zero itself is also small. Uh, minus seven, right? So 10 to the minus seven, 10 to the minus 12, this is an extremely small number. So in most cases, when there is current in a wire, the current dominates this, this one. This one is so small compared to the current. So when there's current in a wire, the current is the main thing producing the magnetic field. So this one only kind of takes over when there's either no current or, or when the current is, uh, uh, for a split second, if the current turns off, then this one becomes more noticeable, okay? This part of it, by the way, just this part of it, what units should that have? The, the, the part that is in the box. That should have the same units as current, right? Because unit-wise, it, it only makes sense. If this is mu zero and this is mu zero, this is current, this is current, whatever this thing means, it has to be something that has units of amps. This is known as displacement current. and it has units of amps. In other words, what it's saying is, when you change the electric flux as a function of time, it, all, it acts as a current. It has the same units as current. Uh, as a function of time, if you divide the two and you multiply it by the units of E0, you get something known as displacement current, and it has some functionality, it has some purpose. Now, I'm going to introduce chapter 31 and look at the relationship here. Chapter 31, this whole chapter, this is actually a little bit shorter chapter than 30. This whole chapter is about Faraday's law and Lenz's law, which are related. And look at what this one is saying. If I integrate E dotted into DL, okay, 
you're going to see how close this one is to that. It's almost like it's answer. It's almost like they're uh, brother and sister. This one is saying if you change the magnetic flux as a function of time, it creates an electric field that circulates around it. Okay? E dotted to dl is very similar to B dotted into dl. And uh, the minus just means this one is Lenz's law. Lenz's law describes what the minus is. So I'll, I'll go into that later on. I'll describe why the minus is there. But notice here, change in magnetic flux over time. So in order to create an electric field, instead of actually putting two charges together and create an electric field, I can simply get a magnet. And let's say here's a coil. You can stick the magnet in the coil and move it out, move it in. Just by changing the magnetic field, you can create an electric field in that wire. Therefore, the electric field will cause current to flow in that wire. Now, this one is very practical in the real life. Okay? This is the principle behind which this is uh, the principle behind which we create uh, current all the time by changing B field. Um, now, this is the counterpart of this. The reason this one is not as noticeable and as applicable is because, first of all, the E0, it makes it so small. Notice here, there's no constant out here. There's no E0, there's no mu0, there's, there's uh, not, no, no constant that would make it really small. Um, the other reason this one is not as applicable is because Usually, when uh, we want to create a magnetic field, we either use a magnet, an actual magnet, or we can just simply run current through a wire and to create a magnetic field. We don't really need to do this in order to create a magnetic field. But this one, it's more purposeful is because we want to sometimes create current in a wire. By creating electric field, we want to create current without actually having to hook it up to a power supply. Okay. We want, all we do is just put a magnet in there, or what we could do is put a magnet in there and rotate the wire. Uh, when we rotate the wire, the magnetic flux through it changes as a function of time, and we can create AC current. Now, all of these things I'm saying, it will make more sense because you know, today and then uh, next, uh, next time, uh, Wednesday, well, I'll give you examples of how that law is used. But now I want you to see like the overall picture how this one is related to that. So um, let's now go into this. And I'll give you a little example of 